Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting here having my coffee. Just about finished with it, but I haven't had breakfast yet, so I got a nice fire going. I feel like baking something, just real easy. So I had been sent this chocolate chip uh, muffin mix. I'm just going to put it in this here pan. It'll work just as good, I'm hoping, at any rate. I still have some blueberry left. Mmm, that's going to be good. But I kind of wanted something chocolatey, so I got to put it into the oven. I got to preheat this to 400. I don't know if I can get it up to 400. Uh, you know what? I, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in at about 350. So I guess I need to stoke this here fire. Uh, I think that's close enough. Let me grab that little thing and shove it in the oven. Here we go. It's going to take longer, but that's okay. Let's shove it all the way back there. Close it. Yeah, hopefully it'll stay this hot. Otherwise, it's going to take forever. Maybe I'll stoke this fire just a little bit. Maybe put another log on. I don't know. I think there's plenty of coals in there. Yeah. I think that'll be fine. Yeah. Woo! Haha, <laughs> better close this door. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah. I always grab these mitts. Open that up and let it cook. Come on. Get up there. It'll get there. It's been in there for about 30 minutes, so let me check this out. Yeah, I think that's done. Yep, I'm just going to go. Here, let me feel the top of it without burning myself. Yeah, I think that's done. I'm going to take it out and just go let it set for a few minutes. Look at it. It turned out great. I didn't burn the bottom or anything, and it's nice and moist. Let me taste it. Mm. <laughs> of course, delicious. That was good. Very good. I'm, I still got a whole bunch left. So now, well, you guessed it. I got to go foraging again. Oh, oh, before I go out, I want to show you the oyster mushrooms that I dehydrated from before. Oh, they turned out great. They dehydrated really nicely. I kept it going at about mm, 120, 150. I had to crack the door in the oven and they just turned out great. I mean, I think it took, I want to say maybe an hour and to an hour and a half maybe, but I'm just going to let these cool off and then I'm going to put them in the jar with all the rest of the mushrooms that I've dehydrated. Oh, this is so great. You know what? I think I'm going to be able to do this with vegetables too. I'm excited. Now I get to go foraging. I went out and checked that log this morning, and yep, they had all grown. So I harvested them. Perfect time. The, the edges are still kind of curled under uh, a little bit, so they're nice and fresh. See that? Look at how beautiful that is. So I've cut the stems off of them, cleaned them off. Um, and then I went ahead and took all the wood ear, uh, wood ear, black fungus. I'm just going to call them wood ear, whatever, um, off of those little twigs. So there's like... These four sections here really need to be rinsed off because there's too much dirt. I couldn't get them off just by brushing it off. So these are all going to be dehydrated today. <laughs> hey, pretty chickens. You were making a bunch of noise earlier. I'm going to go check and see if we got any eggs. I bet we do. Oh, beauty. All right, I'll check this box later. I'm running low on kindling, so today is one of those days where I go around to my little piles that I've stacked up here and there and everywhere. Hey, <laughs> what's up, Junior? What's up, chickens? Have y'all laid me eggs yet? <laughs> I don't see beauty, so probably not. So yeah, I'm going to go look around at my piles, break up a bunch of wood, and fill this one up. And then fill this one up probably twice because I need to stack wood inside the house and then I like to have an extra thing of it so it'll all be nice and dry. Look at this. Look who's come to visit. That's Sunny, Papa, and that's another little pretty, I think it's a boy, uh, one of Papa's sons, another one. They come over and visit every once in a while. They were over this morning. Yep, <laughs> they all love to play. And Papa sure does love the attention. And they're pretty good with the chickens, too. What's up, Junior? Go play. It's all right. 
<laughs> Sonny is so funny. Yeah, he's been over here a couple times today. He's getting big. Oh my gosh, he's he's almost surpassed Junior. Look at that. So if you guys want some cute dogs, oh, there's a whole bunch of them. They're all so adorable. <laughs> I can't keep up with them. Hello, Sunny. That's enough kindling for now. Now it's time for the big pieces. Look at this poor dilapidated tent. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to try and empty this out first. Um, load this up. And uh, I'm going to put more of it inside the shed. And I'll show you that in a bit. Because I just want to get rid of this. Yeah, I think that's enough for now. I might have to make one more trip with the big stuff. But that's okay. I need to fill up the inside of the tiny house. Because we're going to be below freezing for the next few days. And I don't want to be cold. Alright, I have these two shelves stacked, and this makes a great wood rack. I've got it stacked up over here, stacked it behind there, and I've got some more over here. Uh, when the stove cools off, I put it there. And then I have this whole buffalo check thing filled with wood, so that'll be enough to get me through, uh, I'm thinking about four days. And before any of you say that you're concerned over how close I keep the wood, to the wood burning stove. Uh, I've explained this before. It doesn't get that hot out to the side. It's really just hot over here and up above. It's not hot at all underneath. Plus, if I put wood by it, the greener wood I try and put by it, it helps dry it out and uh, it's worked really well so far. So don't worry, you guys. Everything's okay. Oh, I got two good girls. I think that's a Roxy egg and a beauty egg. Oh, that looks like Scarlet. I'll let her do her thing. I ended up getting uh, four eggs in all. One from an Easter egger, three from the other brown eggers. So I'm going to give them all a treat. Look at this huge bag of grub terra, black soldier fly, Lara. Oh, these chickens love it. Look it. All they have to do is see the bag. <laughs> That's all they got to do, and they come running for me. All right. All right, come on, chickens. Come on. <laughs> Come get your wormies. Come on, chickens. I got you a snack. <laughs> I got you a snack. Come on, chickens. They see the bag in my hand. Oh, yes. They love it. They love this more than anything else that I give them. And I, I maybe I give them a little bit too much, but they love it. They love it. Oh, it's okay. There's enough for everybody. Come on, you guys. Be nice. <laughs> yep. And the gentleman gets some, too. Here you go, boys. Here you go. They love it so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they will eat this before they will eat anything else. Packed with nutrition. Here you go, guys. All right, I think that's enough for that flock. Hello, beautiful Easter Eggers. I'm going to give you some, too. <laughs> yep, they love it. They love it more than anything. Oh, yeah. Hello, beautiful babies. Here, I'll give you a few more. <laughs> so this is a great, great treat for the chickens. Look at 36% protein, 35% fat, 10% um, fiber, calcium, 2 to 5% lysine, phosphorus, lots of good stuff in this. And since all of you guys are so amazing, Grub Terra has decided to give everybody a 10% discount off of anything on their website. I'll leave a link to their website below. Just use this discount code up there yeah and I'll also put the discount code down in the description box and you will get 10% off of anything on their website I just love grub Terra and so do my chickens yep he's back that's all I got for you guys today see you in the next video
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.